played at Oregon State early on in the season. This year it's different. Does that yeah. kind of help you guys knowing that you've played at Washington, you've played at Colorado, other hostile uh, places? Definitely. I mean, we're, we're just so used to playing on the road now. Uh, we've had some struggles now, but we're looking forward to the matchup and just getting after it. Those two last year were so early that I mean that was before you guys had yeah. kind of flipped the switch. That wasn't even one of the teams you faced kind of during that definitely. ten game run at the end. So they really yeah. seen what you guys have done there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, we were a whole different team when we played them last year. So um, that's all I can say to that. What did you take from the Stanford game that you can improve on? Shooting was bad, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, I know a lot, I know a lot of people want to harp on the shooting, but at the end of the day, it's not like we're trying to miss shots. There's going to be games where where we just it just ain't going in, and it was one of those games for us. But what we have to lean on is our defense, and we we allowed too many easy buckets, and they went on a run, and we just can't let a big run like that happen, especially when we have a lead at the end. If the shot isn't falling, that's going to happen. Yeah. Is, is it attacking the rim to get to the free throw line to get clean looks? Is that how you kind of solve that? I, mean, I think so, but at the end of the day, that's, we're putting it on the refs to make that call too. So. Um, I mean, you, you, we can look at it a bunch of different ways, but at the end of the day, we got to look at it defensively. You know, if we're not scoring, then we can't let them score. So that's the only way we can really look at that. It's not a close for guards rebounding wise, Peyton, but that was yeah. a big part of the second half at Definitely. Stanford too. What, yeah. what did you see on film that the guards could do to help there? I mean, wise? we just gotta we gotta box out as guards. We're not, especially myself. I'm I'm setting a bad a bad example on that. So um, I'm gonna look to change that this next game, and then. I think defensively we just got to get better off into the ball, help side. I, mean, I think that our defense could take a big jump and our team would make a big jump if we just change some, a little bit of uh, our defensive tendencies. Have you seen Chandler and CJ respond? Because I think they combined for like 0 for 7 at Stanford. Just have you seen them respond in practice the past couple of days? Um, I mean, they've been doing great. I mean, it wasn't just them. I mean, shoot, I had a poor shooting. Um, me and Chris weren't hitting. I mean, it was just almost a team effort of nobody hitting. And, it just happened to be one of those nights for us. Michael played, you guys play some club together? Uh, he played like a, a, a weekend or two with us. Um, so I know him a little bit. I played him in my high school team when he played for, we're in the same school district, kind of Westland, Wilsonville. So I uh, played him in my senior high school. Pinko and you played some camps and you guys had like yeah. some NBA tryouts together last year too. Yeah, we had, we were in the Atlanta Hawks together. Um, and then we did um, the Nike Academy this summer. Yeah. What do you make of his play? Obviously, one of the top talents in this conference. Definitely, I mean, Trice is a, a great player. Um, can score, um, make plays for his teammates, and uh, you know, I think he's really good on top of their zone. Uh, their one-three-one, he makes things happen for them. So, but we're just again, a lot of guys are looking forward to the matchup, and you know, trying to to limit him. What's kind of the key to guard a guy like that, where he's so long and you know, still have that ability to score? Um, I mean, you just got to try to limit his touches. Uh, make uh, shots tough for him, that's about it. How about defense, and so does the team all look at the video afterwards and yeah. you go over things? It seems to be a habit, not just certain, well, certain players are leaving the floor, going for fakes, jumping, lunging towards guys shooting threes. Yep. Does that get addressed? And, and it yeah. doesn't seem to get corrected, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, that can be a problem. I mean, we, we need to learn from our mistakes. and. Uh, Especially after wins, yeah, it's definitely getting talked about. But I mean, even especially last year, I mean, people were harping on us about a lot of things, and sometimes it takes a while to f before it clicks. But hopefully, you know, this next game we can start clicking. But I think we've had a great week of practice, and we're trying to figure things out. I mean, it's a big adjustment for some guys, and, and learning and understanding what you did in high school isn't necessarily going to work at the next level. So um, we're trying to work inch our way to to being perfect, and 